Let's break down this. After seeing yesterday's trailer, I knew I absolutely had to go ahead and try to recreate the web shooters. Trying to find sounds that sounded like a web shooter was actually quite difficult, but I ended up on two sounds. One being a squirt bottle and the other one being sparks. So I started off playing with these squirt bottle samples and I ended up speeding them up, slowing them down, and this is what I ended up getting. So that sounded absolutely amazing. The one thing that it was missing was a transient, so I ended up making that out of a noise burst and a belt impact. The next thing I wanted to do was add some electrical sounds because I figured that would give me that sort of, um, sound. Okay, the last thing I did was added some magical texture stuff, and this here was um, some particle sparks, and this really helped solidify the tail of the web shooters. Okay, the very last thing I ended up adding was some web stress, and this is just some ropes being stretched back and forth. Created three different variations of that, and this is what you get. The next big section of this year was the whooshes, and there are a lot of them. So I have these two wind recordings, which is just a motorcycle driving down the road with microphones mounted on the helmet. This goes ahead and captures that wind in your face. The next thing I wanted to focus on was the whooshes when he leaves the webs. I thought that was missing a lot of low end, so I ended up combining some wind um, with some pretty heavy fades. So the only other thing that I wanted to fix was Miles is more animated, he's, he's less perfected. So I added in these other little um, cartoon mooshes, which are just a rope spinning around really, really fast. And then you get that sort of like silly sort of launching. It works out really well in the final mix. To top it all off, I really wanted to add some voices, and this here just kind of helps sell the effort that it takes to swing from building to building. So those have worked out really, really well. The next thing I wanted to do was add some Bee Gees, and the Bee Gees are quite special. Um, there's a car horn that goes by, as well as some birds that fly by towards the end. The last thing to do was add in the music directly from the game to see if all my sounds ended up collaborating with one another and was able to cut through the mix. All in all, I think I got pretty close. Let me know what you think in the comments below.